Alley Cats. Today, I'm going to be telling you another story from my time on the Hypixel staff team. It's a rather short one, but I think it's pretty funny, so I figured you guys would enjoy it as well. So this is the story of the time we permanently banned someone for advertising their YouTube channel. Something really important to keep in mind, this was several years ago when this took place. The guidelines and policies for staff between then and now are vastly different. This is a situation that would likely not occur today, so just keep that in the back of your mind going forward. So, advertising a YouTube channel is typically a very minor offense. Back in the day, you would get a short mute at most. But as I'm sure a lot of you know, punishments tend to escalate in time for repeat offenses. One day, I was sitting in a lobby waiting for reports to come in, and there was this one player, I honestly can't even remember his name, but I do remember he was a non-donor, and he was asking people to check out his channel. I tell him in chat, please don't do that, but he just left the lobby. I followed him to the next lobby he went to where he was still continuing to advertise his channel. So I figured it was time to issue a mute. I go to check his punishment history, thinking at most he'd probably get a mute for about an hour or so, but to my surprise, this guy had almost 20 previous mutes over several months, all for social media advertising. He'd accumulated so many infractions, I had no idea what to do with this guy. So I brought up the situation in staff chat. His last mute had been for a couple months, so eventually we came to the mutual agreement to give a short ban, thinking now if we restrict his access to the server entirely, then he may actually get the hint that he's breaking the rules and it's only going to get worse if he continues. So I give him a one day ban. Nothing too bad, just something to get the point across. Fast forward about a year, I had completely forgotten about this person since, of course, as a staff member, we were dealing with dozens and dozens of people every day. So it was very rare that we would individually keep taps on someone after we issue a punishment. Until one day, I was once again sitting in a lobby chatting with a couple people when someone randomly comes into the lobby to advertise their channel. The name does look familiar, so I checked their user information and not only is it the same guy from a whole year ago but in the time since i last saw him he has racked up 10 bands all for social media advertising he had literally just gotten out of a six month ban so i think it's safe to say he did not take the hint to stop trying to promote his channel in chat on the server obviously the offense itself is not a big deal at all but after close to 30 infractions all for the same damn thing just Ugh. Though I gotta give this guy points for persistence, though I also have to wonder just how lacking in brain cells he is. Clearly, the more he advertises, the worse his punishments get. He just spent six months, half of a year off the server just to come back and immediately do the same thing yet again. He didn't even check to see if there were any staff in the lobby, wasn't paying attention at all because I was actively talking with people in chat, but he still did it anyway. So I went back to the staff chat and explained the situation again, and apparently since I last dealt with this individual, he had become sort of a meme and a running joke among the team just because of how many punishments he had accumulated for such a minor offense. There were several staff members who were commenting things like, Oh, that guy? He's back already? He really did it again? And after some laughs and further discussion, we came to the conclusion that this dude was obviously not going to stop. If a six-month ban didn't get the point across, then nothing would. We checked his player stats, and he didn't even play games that often. He played some, but he wasn't really very active in anything. It's like playing the games, which is the whole point of the server, was an afterthought, and his main priority was just to advertise his channel. Which wasn't even getting him that much of an audience, if I'm being completely honest. He only had like 16 subscribers and he posted some videos from various Minecraft servers and they were pretty cringy, low quality, though I'm one to talk. But since we were fairly convinced he was 
absolutely not going to stop, we came to the mutual decision to permanently ban him, because at this point, he was just being a nuisance and far more trouble than he was worth. And so, we gave the first, and probably only, permanent ban for something as small and simple as advertising a YouTube channel. Just one of those days where you can't help but laugh or else just slowly lose faith in humanity. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Not necessarily one of the more dramatic or tea spill type ones, but I thought it'd be fun to share since this guy really stuck with me in my mind from my time as staff. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!